Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my workshop. 16 by 20. Ah, the seascape. What about the seascape? We begin by blue. Light blue and white with purple. That's purple. Purple and white and light blue. We mix the colors. We don't have a lot of sky. We stretch the colors just with the tip of the brush from side to side, very softly. We don't put pressure. We dry the colors just with the tip of the brush. My brush is stay all the time on the canvas. It's not take it off, right? Just with the tip, with a small movement to be more precise. When we have a more movement, with a small movement, that's better for the blending. Yes, we don't chop the colors, you know, it's too straight. We blend light blue with the purple and white with a highlight. We have a more highlight on the right on side. We use a more white as blue and more highlight on top on the left. Yeah, we have the highlight. That's good. Now, we feel the ocean. We use a dark gray with indigo blue. That's a dark blue. That's a dark color. We need a varsol because we stretch the colors. We stretch a lot. And the horizon is very higher. We don't have a lot of sky, but we have enough highlight on the ocean. We stretch dark blue with dark gray. Dark gray and dark blue. We use a little green, a land green on the water. We have a green on the wave, and we have the rock in the foreground. And with the water around the rock, and we have the splash and a big wave in the foreground with a seal boat over there, with the land green, land green right on the water. I don't mix so much. We deposit the green. We blend just a little bit with blue. We stretch. That's, that's a green. And more water in the bottom. Yeah. We mix the colors. Light blue, dark blue, and land green. More down here. Again, land green, light blue, and indigo blue. Indigo blue is dark blue. Very dark blue. Now, we keep the place for the trees in the foreground. Now, we use a big brush, the same brush, just on the edge, and I keep my wet on top. I keep my wet on top because we have the waves. Not too much because it's too far. We don't see good the wave. We shake the hand for the movement. Sometimes we see the waves, sometimes we don't see the waves. We see just a, a little movement, 
sound movement is too far. We see a couple of waves. The waves disappear. The wave is coming. Ah, we see the wave. Ah, the waves disappear. Ah, we see one more wave here. It's too far. A little splash on top of the wave. Just a little movement. Just with the edge of the brush. We don't use a lot of weight. You look like a mountain. That's the same movement when we paint a mountain. We paint a wave. We have the same movement with the brush. This way. We have the green in the wave. Now, right there, in the foreground, with spatula. I use a spatula with the gray and brown. Wow! With gray and brown, we stretch. We stretch the colors. It's a wave, it's coming, the big wave is coming, the big waves punch the rock. The wave kiss the rock, boom. We stretch. One more rock here. And we use a big brush. We use a big brush just for stretch the colors. We stretch the colors with a big brush. We need a more brown. We use Van Dyke brown and burn sienna. Burn amber, it's perfect. And the burn sienna. Now, we use another brush, the big brush, just with the corner. With the corner, we dab. Just a little dab. We have a splash. Splash. A wave snap the rock. And we stretch the wave on a 45 degree on the left, the wave is coming here, right on the beach. We have the beach here. Okay. We stretch the wave. Sometimes we have a more splash in the wave. And we splash. We have a lot of movement around the rock. That's a wave, it's coming right on the beach. 
and the wave is sleep on the beach. Ah, and the wave is coming on the beach. I use a spatula for the burnt sienna, burnt sienna and white, and a little bit blue, a light blue on the spatula for the reflection on the rock. When we have the water on the rock, it's the same a mirror, we have a reflection from the sky. If we have the pink, in the sky, sometimes we have the pink on the rock. It's not this strong. Just a little touch. Just a little touch. Oh, that's funny. We have fun when we play with the color. We play with the colors. Oh, very thinner. Just a little drag with the flat or spatula. Just a little touch. One more rock in the foreground. We, we create a new dimension here. Uh, more Varenciana. Not too much. And the rocket change of movement causes the water to have move, the movement. As the wave is coming, boom, it snaps the rock. The wave is punched the rock every time. Now, in the bottom. In the bottom, we use uh, the big brush. With green, uh, gray, dark green, land green, dark gray, we dab it. We we'll have the grass. We we'll have the trees. We feel the grass in the foreground. We use a big brush, the big fan brush. A big fan brush with dark gray and a land green. Land green, dark gray. Right in the front here. We dab. We dab. We use a lot of colors. Very dark. On the boat side, I use a green and gray on the boat side, and we use the side of the brush. Often, I use a spatula. I prefer a spatula for the big trees. A small point on the tip. A small point here, right on the tip. Just a dragon. We drag it. Just a little touch with the tip, not with the flat. And the big trees, one more tree right there. I use a spatula. I like to work with a spatula. Yeah. In the foreground here. Now, we use a big brush, the same brush with yellow and white. We mix the yellow with white and we have the grass. We have the grass in a shrub. Sometimes we have more yellow. Sometimes we have more green. Oh, 
That's a highlight. With a light green and cadmium yellow. And a highlight on the grass. We don't have a lot of shadow in this place. We have a more highlight. And a shadow, we have more shadow here around the rock. As it's a cold place. Now, I like a pin of lupin. That's a lupin. We have a lot of lupin in PI. Here. Just with the edge of the brush. We use a purple, dark pink, purple, yeah. That's a loop in place, haha. <laughs> now, we use a spatula again for the highlight on the trees. We can use light green just on the left we have a moss often we have a moss from the ocean that's a bacteria and a salt from the ocean with the wind is deposited right on the trees because that we have the moss That's beautiful moss. The moss on the rock, the moss on the trees, the moss on the land. Not here, because we have too much movement from the water every time. And we have the highlight and the moss on the trees. We have the place for the rock over there. It's very far. I use a fan brush, but a small fan brush. We use a light blue and dark blue. Two kind of blue and white for the rock. That's a rock island. We paint the rock island with white and two kind of blue. Light blue, indigo blue, and white. With a fan brush or another brush, maybe you can take a liner It's pale because it's too far. That's a rock island. You have the moss on top. You have a lot of moss on top, but we can't see that. It's too far. We use the dark blue. We create a new dimension with dark blue. I drag the dark blue with the light blue. Yeah, that's better. We don't have a dark blue everywhere, just someplace. It's too far. Now, we use the white with the same brush, just a little white. That's a big wave over there. Yeah, that's a big wave. That's a good place for a fishing boat or a sailboat. With a sailboat, it's a beautiful place. We'll do that. Next step, we'll do the sailboat. But for now, we have the movement around the rock. We have a splash here, bada boom, boom, boom. And we have the movement, it's not a splash, not too much a splash around here. The water is, is not the rock, and you turn around the rock. You turn around the rock. Yeah. It's not a good place for swimming, no? It's too dangerous. Wow, the water is very, very strong. Look at the splash. 
just a little touch. We don't put pressure very lightly. Yeah. Over there. Not here, really. More here. That's a, a small rock island. Right there. Ho ho. That's a rock. Dark blue and a light blue and white. Very small. I don't want I don't want the rock here because we have the trees and the trees will not touch the rock island. It's too much from the same place. It's no good. Maybe if we have the rock here on the middle, would it be better? Ha. Huh. Much better. Okay, that's a rock. And right there, that's an island. Small rock island. And I use the blue. Light blue with dark blue. That's a seal boat. One, two, three. Very lightly. With cable. With the seal. It's very far. And we have the bird. Albatross. The albatross. We use the dark colors, dark gray or dark blue, doesn't matter. We use dark colors. Very, just a little touch. We have the blue or gray, just on the wind. We have enough movement. Now, maybe we have a, a place for the cloud. We use a fan brush for the cloud. We use a small fan brush. Just a little cloud. We use the white just on top. And with a corner, just with a corner. We can use a finger for a movement. Oh, we can use the fan brush. We play with white. Ah, oh, we have the cloud. We have the cloud. And we blend a cloud with the colors. We blend a cloud with the colors. 
just with the tip of the brush, side to side. Now the sailboat is very far, and we have a more cloud, just on the cloud. One more cloud. I love the cloud. Beautiful cloud. Yeah, that's a movement. And the cloud, it dance. The great walls in the sky, cause the wind. And the wind is artist because the wind gives the different movement in the cloud. And the cloudy dance in the sky. Yeah, we have a lot of movement. We have the place for travel in the cloud. This funny bird. We have a lot of movement. Now, maybe we use the dark colors for the name are right here on the left. You can visit my website, magicianofcolors.com. We have a 1200 painting different in my gallery. That's a free for a visit. Magicianofcolors.com. Ah, we have the 16 by 20, the seascape. We have a lot of detail as for you. Thank you. Have a good week.